Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. What's going on everybody? I'm Engineering Hooksets. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what I believe to be the best overall canal fishing bait you can use, and that's a weightless fluke. Now, reason number one why these things are one of the best canal fishing baits that you can use is because of how weedless they are. Florida doesn't have winters like we do up here in the Midwest, so as you can see on the screen behind me, there are a ton of weeds and tons of cover in the canals down there. There's no winter, so the weeds aren't going to die off, they're just going to build up and get thicker and thicker all year, and what you're left with is what's right behind you. You really have to be going weedless if you want to fish these canals effectively. When you Texas rig this weightless and Texpose the hook just a little bit, this thing is going to be super weedless. You can rip this through lily pads and grass all day long and you are not going to get caught on stuff. Now reason number two is the awesome action that flukes have when you twitch your rod tip. When you twitch your rod tip just like this, give it a pause every once in a while, just twitch really quick like that. This thing is going to dart back and forth crazy fast. It's going to look awesome. And every time you pause it, this thing's going to fall. Super good action in the water. I'm telling you, for a reaction bite, this thing is going to get a ton of hits. Another reason this thing is great is while you're fishing it fast like that, if you want to stop by one of these bridge piles or say you want to stop under a group of lily pads or whatever like that, when you're fishing like a normal jerk bait or whatever, when you're jerking that thing around, and it stops, it's just gonna suspend there. It's not gonna move, it's not gonna drop down to the fish, it's just gonna suspend there. With a weightless fluke, it's darting back and forth, you stop it, it's just gonna slowly glide down right in front of their face and they just are not gonna be able to resist, they're gonna reach out and they're gonna grab it. So yeah, overall flukes are an amazing thing to fish with and they really accentuate here in the Florida canals where you have tons of cover to deal with. Weightless flukes are gonna be an awesome choice and as you're gonna see in this video today, I absolutely slayed them. Make sure you guys stick around for the whole thing because two of the best fish I caught, and I did catch one that was pretty dang nice were at the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe, leave me a comment down below. Without further ado, here's a fluke fishing sleigh fest. Hey, hey, what is up y'all? I'm just walking along this uh, roadside canal here in Southwest Florida right now. Hopefully catch some largemouth. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll get another peacock like I did last night. Yeah, hopefully it goes well. Stick around. Did I just get one? I think I just got a hit. Doesn't really, yeah, he, he does. I have one. Nice. All right, guys. Thank you. Look at that, y'all. Number one. He fought pretty good. Not a bad little Florida bass. Put him back. There he goes. All right, fish number one. All right, plastic's getting a little loose on me, so I'm just gonna tech expose the hook a tiny bit. Hopefully I don't lose any fish because of that. Got one. I got a hit. Got one. It's not a very big one, I don't think. Nope, just a little largey. I will take it though, I'll absolutely take it. Pretty fish, this is funny. This one's coloration is a lot different than the other ones. It looks more like a northern bass. The other ones are usually darker. All right, there you go, largemouth number two. See you, bud. There he goes. All right, I'm putting a new fluke on. Got one, got one, got one. Got one. Another largey. About the same size as the first one. Look at that, y'all. Little like 1.1 pounder or so. Pretty fish, healthy looking. All right, let's put him back. There he goes. I'm really hoping one of these is gonna be a peacock. Do I have one? I've got one, I've got one. Another largey, he's the exact same size as the other ones. These fish are like all a cookie cutter size. It's so weird. Yeah, look at that. Well, I mean, he's a little bit smaller, but roughly it's like the exact same size. All right, see ya, dude. Had to toss him a little bit, he's good. Another one, I got another one. That one's better, that one's better. Come on, bud. Oh no, it's not, it was just stuck in the weeds. Another one that's like the same size. That's back-to-back -back casts. There he goes. All right, y'all, that was either my fourth or fifth fish 
second cast in a row after the last one it's kind of interesting uh they've all been like the exact same size i mean not the exact same size but within reason they've been very very similar like they've all been in that like one to one and a half pound range which i don't know when you're in florida you're supposed to expect bigger fish right there should be like a six or seven pounder in here somewhere yeah i'm really hoping for one of these turns out to be a peacock i figured that one was just because it was fighting harder but then it turns out it was just stuck in a pad stem that's another thing about weightless flukes even when it's super windy it's a weightless lure so it's kind of hard to cast on its own but the wind doesn't make too huge of a difference because it's super aerodynamic so it's an interesting combination of difficult to cast yet easy to cast got one got one got one is he still on no no he's not he missed it just had one blow up on it and miss it all right maybe he'll do it again maybe not maybe he won't do it again Got one, got one, got one. Not a big one. Yeah, I think this is actually the smallest bass yet. Not a terrible one though. Pretty little fish. All right, see you dude. There goes. What's that, like bass number six, I think? Oh, look, a gator. Oh, there's fish activity up there. Problem is if I hook a bass here with a gator there, I don't know how I would get it. Oh, look at that. The gator just freaked out. I think he tried to get a fish. It's crazy how low the water is right now. Last year when I was visiting here, I was fishing that waterfall right there. I mean, you can see the line where the water is. I mean, it's like over two feet low right now. Oh, look, there's a catfish down there. It's like one of the aquarium type ones. It's right there in the center. It's probably hard to see. Oh my gosh, there's a gator literally right in front of me. Guys, look right there. There's literally a gator right there. I gotta follow. I gotta follow. I gotta follow. It's a good sized fish. Come on, hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Oh, what is that? Is it a bass? Well, he didn't bite. Oh, I wonder what that was. Do I have one? I have one, I have one, I have one. Oh no, no. I had one y'all, I freaking had one and it came off. No. There's a fish right there, I can see it under the surface. Literally right there. He's chasing it, I got a chaser. Oh, I think those are gar. Also look at the gators like just directly under me. What's up guys? Two of them just hanging out right there. Just in case I fall, ready to eat me. All right guys, I think they're gar. I just, well, at least two of them are gar. Two that I just saw. No, look, there's a little bass right there. Swimming off as I walk up. Got one. I think. Yeah, I got one. I got one. I got one. Oh, just got my camera all wet, I bet. Yeah, he's hooked kind of deep. All right, I'm going to have to cut this one. All right, got it. See you, bud. All right, he's swimming off good. Yeah, I had to cut the hook off on that one and flip it upside down to get it. All right, rigged up again. Let's try to catch another bass. Hopefully a peacock. I think I've caught like six or seven largemouth by now, but no peacocks. Had a gar bite over there, but didn't get hooked. Yikes, bad cast. Got one, got one, got one. Got him on. Doesn't feel that big. Oh, wait. Oh, he came off. No. No, he came off. Dang it. No, it looks like he was never hooked. What? Well, I don't think that was a huge... Oh, that was a terrible cast. I don't think that was a huge one. I think that was just average size like the other ones. Got one, got one, got one. No. No. Got him, got him again, got him again, got him again. That feels like a decent one. 
Come here, bud. All right, that's definitely the best one of the day. That's a nice two pounder, good sized one. On the fluke, look at that. Let me take the third person cam out for this one because he's the biggest one of the day. That's a solid one. This is probably like 2.1. Nice Florida bass. He came up and hit it that first time and missed it and then hit it again in the same spot. This release is probably so bad. All right, hopefully that release was good. There he goes. This fluke is kind of messed up in the front. I wonder if I can still get any use out of that. Now is when I really wish I had super glue. Always bring super glue when you're using soft plastics, kids. Unless you're me, then just forget it. Always cast back at your missed fish. Especially if you don't get a hook set at all, probably won't scare them. If you actually set the hook into them, like you feel them fight for a second, then they're definitely not gonna bite again, but. But yeah, if they don't actually get the hook at all and you just pull it right out of their mouths, definitely cast in there again. Cause you probably got a decent shot. I just saw wake, I just saw wake. Fish might have it, I don't know. Yeah, it does, it does, it does. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one, that's a big one. That's a big one, that might be like a four pounder. That's a big one. Oh, that's a huge one. Come here, buddy. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, y'all. That right there, that is what you think of when you think Florida bass. I mean, look at that beast. Gotta get the third person camera out for this guy. Gosh, my face is probably so shadowy right now. All right, y'all probably can't see, but it's at zero. Okay, my final guess on this guy. Okay, I'm gonna say four flat. All right, 343. Hey, three and a half, that's still a super nice fish. Look at that. Thought it was a four pounder. Turned out to be 341. That's still an awesome fish. There she goes. Yes, dude, that is the first like legit big Florida bass that I've caught. Just been wading through the dinks all day. Finally got a nice one. That is such a good feeling. Guys, I was wondering when I was finally gonna get a nice one. Waded through like eight dinks, or not really dinks. I waded through like eight 1.1 pounders to get to that nice one. Still would like to catch another peacock, preferably a little bit bigger. That one last night wasn't terrible. I mean, I think it was pretty average. It was like a pound and a half. Would really like to get like a two and a half, three pound peacock. Peacocks don't get as big as largies though, so that's a lot easier said than done. Got one, got one, got one, got one, got one. Does he have it? Yeah, line's moving. No, oh no, no. He blew up on it and missed it. I wonder if that's because my hook was exposed. Who knows, who can say? Still getting bites though. And I didn't actually get a hook set on that fish, so it might hit again, who knows. That's how that two pounder was like 10 minutes ago. Got one, got one, got one, got one. Oh. Y'all, I just had one on. Just missed one. This fluke's getting kind of ripped up. I'm actually gonna tear the end of this fluke off. All right, I tore the end of the fluke off. That way it wouldn't be catching water up there. I don't know, hopefully that made a difference. It's kind of funny fishing with a fluke because, I mean, it's almost like a top water and that you see almost all of the fish that strike you. I mean, even if they don't actually do like a blow up on it, if you're paying attention, a lot of times you can still see the wake of them swim towards it under the water. I mean, that's how I saw that three and a half pounder. But yeah, most of the time they'll just hit it like a top water. Got one, got one, got one, got one. Does he have it? Yeah, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. Got one. Look at that. All right, guys, I, uh, I gotta go pack for my flight. So I'm gonna be ending on this note. 
Yeah, I gotta go pack for a flight, so I'm gonna end on this guy. That was a pretty cool day. I mean, I think I was out here for about three hours. Uh, yeah, it's 1.30. No, I guess I was out here for two and a half hours. But yeah, I mean, I was out here for two and a half hours and I caught like probably around 10 fish. Two of them were pretty nice. So yeah, I'm happy with that. This is gonna do it for the Florida vids. I appreciate you guys watching them. Subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one. There he goes.